Welcome to Dope Campbell Stadium, and you might as well get used to the sound you're hearing. The Seminole War chant is going full throat. Today, a rank versus rank matchup as a couple of top 25 teams get set to go jaw to jaw. As we'll see, the number 20 team in the country, the Louisville Cardinals, taking on the 11th ranked team in the land, the Florida State Seminoles. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. The Seminoles will kick it away to start us off. He'll bring it out. It's Turner. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. So the Louisville Cardinals offense takes the field. And here he comes, guys, the man who makes everything go. Everything in this offense is built around his ability. He's got such great field vision. He's got it all done. He is must-watch TV. Let's not get it twisted. People show up to this stadium. People are watching back at home because of this guy right here. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. This crowd, full throat, splitting the eardrums and letting them know it's going to be a long day. Barrels all the way to the 29, a gain of six. Listen, I know that's not a huge gain, but those run plays add up. They make you tackle the back every single play. Physically, you have to get some guy on the ground. It takes its toll throughout a fourth quarter game. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. To the ground to try to pick up the first. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. It's a really good sign if you're on offense here. You're putting it on your offensive line on third down. Critical down and distance, opening drive of the game. Let those guys fire off, get a hat on a hat. You can run the ball, pick up the first. You're around midfield. And all things looking pretty good here early for this offense. From the gun, running back gets to give. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. From the gun, give on the inside. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. Listen, defense is about energy. It's about passion. It's about physicality. They need a little bit more of that. Get the guy in the ground. You can't let guys break tackles. What could have been set up in a long yard situation, now it becomes an easier situation because you couldn't get him on the ground. He'll do it himself. Just nowhere to go against this defense to find that single yard he needed on third down. line up to punt it away. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. And they'll get him down after the return at the 27-yard line. The Seminoles offense taking the field. First chance we have to see them today. One thing to watch, can this guy get in the quarterback's head and make him take a peek at the rush, David? Dang, Skippy, that's what you want to do. You want to make this guy a little bit more human and not as much of a game-breaker at the quarterback spot? Get some pressure on him, hit him a few times. He's one of the best quarterbacks in the country, but he can't hurt you if he's laying on his back. And this defensive end can put him there often. Let's see what they've got on second down. But jet sweep pass. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. Got to give the defense credit. 
watching film, anticipating. They knew that this offense had this play in their back pocket. They knew about the speed of this wide receiver and different ways they were going to try to get him involved. Everybody on defense on the same page playing together. I love it. Going for it all. He's got it downfield for a huge game. He's loose. Touchdown, Seminoles. And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. And a really nice job by the quarterback. He drops back. He knows where he's going with the football. You can tell. He, he sees this guy coming from left to right, running that post down the middle of the field, throws it. Perfect timing to his receiver. He catches the football, takes it into the end zone. The AT unit on the field. And the extra point makes it 7-0. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish it with a flare, a 77-yard touchdown pass. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. That keeps the running game churning. Pick up a five to the 23. I know the passing game sells, and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards a pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Looking to throw, it's Shuck. Got his man on the right. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. I think really good wide receivers do a good job of making every route kind of look the same. You could tell, he, he this looked like a vertical route. So if I'm a DB, I'm bailing, and all of a sudden, he sits that hitch down. Nice job by the wide receiver, creating enough separation to create a positive game. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. From the gun, the ground game. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. And here we go. If you're an offense, you've got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. Yeah, exactly. And then coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game for exactly what you just said. you got to be able to use play-action pass later in this game to get some explosive plays down the field. And it's a play like that that we just saw, which can help them get that going. Look, you can't take away everything, right? So you give them that and rally and make a solid tackle. Now, and a lot of times in zone coverage, I, I like when I can get all the eyes on the quarterback. I like when I can see the routes and see him develop in the middle. And you could tell they had keys on the tight end. He wasn't going anywhere after he caught that football. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. The Cardinals will send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Make sure that there's not going to be a return on this one. Ball's out of bounds, and I think they'll mark it right around the 25. 
looking for a gap. It's to a feeling. Found that space and picked up six out to the 33. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. From the shotgun, the inside give. Just willed his way for a couple out to the 35. They're strong and they're scrawled. Defensive tackles, they're scrawled. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance when you got that 300 plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. Unloads it left. Makes the grab. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Well, we knew coming into this one, guys, the offense wanted to get this guy the ball. I had no idea it was going to be like this, though. We're not even done the first quarter. He already has over 100 yards receiving. The Seminoles with the first and 10. Give to the back. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. And here comes the offense on second down. That's the end of the quarter, and Florida State has the lead. Guys, let's have a look at the stats as we've played one period. They've swapped ends of the field, and we're ready to go in the second. They'll run this play from the pistol. Right back to the well. Able to squeeze out a couple on the play. It's down at the 35. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Back to throw. It's Uyangalale. It's complete on the right side. They'll pick up enough yardage for the first down. They've got it at the 30. And had they not picked up that first down, it would have been decision time for the head coach, right? You're kind of in no man's land on the fridge. Are you trying a long field goal? Are you going for it on fourth down? But because of the execution there and the nice throw, let's keep this drive going. Let's see if we can get six. Comes out throwing on first down. That's reeled in. It's Williams. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. Everything seems to be working for this offense right now. And if they keep this up, this could get ugly by the fourth quarter. They've moved to the 16. It's first and 10. Hand off from the gun. Able to get one down to the 15. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. And when those guys, those running backs come in, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Not quite in rhythm there. Incomplete. Already two for two on third down, but this time they'll need nine to convert. From the gun, wants to pass. Makes the catch, it's West. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. You know, the tight end's gonna have to do a better job of separating and giving his quarterback a place to go with the football. That time, just couldn't create it. And as a result, as soon as he made the catch, he was brought to the ground, setting up fourth down. And they'll send out the kicker to try a field goal. He'll boot it from the left side, and from this distance, that angle ought to be fairly easy. Splits the uprights, it's good. And now the lead is even bigger.
after that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. The returner's going to try to see what he can get. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. The deficit here is just 10 points, David, so a chance to answer here. Plenty of time left in this football game. No need to panic. This offense just has to put a couple drives together. And listen, the defense will get this back and get some stops, Palmer, and get you the football back. And I think, I think here too, David, you have an opportunity to keep the pressure on the opponent. Yeah, they just went down and scored, but you score here, and this game's still tight. You keep their feet to the fire, so an opportunity here to keep applying that pressure. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They're trying to run the football. There's just nowhere to go for the ball carrier inside. He tried to bounce it to the outside. That linebacker way too fast. He met him there to force the TFL. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. From the gun, running back on the move. And he knock him down after he picks up five out to the 34. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. Just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Back to throw. It's shot. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. Defensive linemen live to get after the quarterback, to get sacks, to get by those big hog mollies up front on the offensive line and say, you taste dirt. And the Cardinals will try to pin them back with the punt. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. That last drive was a long one, Jesse. They'd like this time to pay it off with a touchdown instead of a field goal. No doubt, Reese. They had a lot of good stuff going that last drive. We need to get a tutty up on the board here to extend that lead, David. And I think you definitely want a touchdown, but if you put another long drive together, get points, multiple possessions in a row, start to let those body blows add up and wear this defense out. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. It's a reverse. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. Great discipline by the backside of the defense. This is my gap. This is where I'm supposed to be. Ball goes away, so be it. I got to stay home, stays home, makes a great play for a loss. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Got it in the middle. It's Benson. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. It's all about critical downs and distances on defense. You want to be great unit defensively, you've got to be good on third down and in the red zone. For this defense giving up a third down like that, that is just a gut punch. The Knowles have it with a first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Fires left. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. Not many receivers like to get hit. They just don't, okay? They're prima donnas. That's what they are. That's who they are. Nice job by the defender. You could tell he was catching the football. He was going to put a hit on him to make sure he had to think about something later. And you could see the ball pop out and fall to the ground. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Finds his tight end. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Oh, that is a rope for the completion in this offense. I'll tell you, you think about great seminal quarterbacks, the three W's, Wanky, Winston, Ward. Dudes that could change the game. Heisman Trophy winners. Every defensive coordinator was scared every time they had to play the Seminoles because of that vaunted passing attack. And this guy, I think he has D coordinator seeing ghosts because this guy can play at a high level. Everybody talks about DBs. They talk about dropping in coverage and not being physical. <laughs> that DB begs to differ. Great tackle coming up, playing physical like a linebacker. 
We've reached the two-minute warning, and they will try to build on what has already been a dominant first-half performance. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Dropping back. It's Uyangalale. Receiver wasn't ready for the throw. Incomplete. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third down, going up top. Just flying through the air like a superhero to make the grab. Man, I love those guys that are willing to put their body on the line. And he does it right here, man. Just lays out. That ball's coming in. You can see it from several yards out, making that play, laying out, keeping the football from touching the turf. Great concentration, great effort by the receiver. Looking to go up top on first down. Quick completion on the out route. They get him down with this offense is set up first and goal from the nine. Hey guys, how many first downs is that? Just on this drive alone? I mean, this defense allows one or two more drives like this, and they're going to be gassed by the third quarter. And the Knowles trying to cash it in on first and goal. Back to the air one more time. He makes a grab. He gets it in. Touchdown, no! A methodical drive that they finish off by tossing it to the tight end. And the tight end, I'll tell you what, this is a position that's evolved so much, right? And you see him move all over the field. It's kind of like, where is Waldo? you got to find this big fella, especially down in the red zone area. This is the guy they're going to target and make the big play, get the touchdown. Lining up to add another. And with the extra point, they now have a three-possession lead at 17. They took it 68 yards on that drive, and they capped things off with a nine-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. Looking for blockers. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. These guys have taken some body blows in the first half, and now a chance to do something to feel a little better going into halftime. Reese, they got to respond now. They, they, they got to put points on the board right here, cut into this deficit, create a little bit of momentum, because this one's going to get out of hand otherwise. Yeah, there are a lot of offenses out there that might just say, okay, let's just regroup and figure it out. This offense doesn't have time to do that. They've got to be aggressive. They've got to throw it downfield. They've got to score points. Yeah, and a really good job by the defender understanding the ball's coming. I got to break on it and go and not try to intercept it and make a bad play. He swats it down and makes sure that's an incompletion. Fairly manageable distance here on third down from the 27. With the catch, it's Brooks. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. The Cardinals will snap it on first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Finds a tight end. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. A nice job by the defense there, tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage. And nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. And the Cardinals want to crank the tempo. To the air. It's shut. Fires to the big fella. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. Just enough time to get off one more snap. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. One more snap coming before halftime. Looking to throw. Oh, he wants it all. 
A sensational grab down the field there as they try to at least put a positive spin on the end of this game. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. All right, guys. Looks like we've got a great one in Tallahassee going on. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. And with that, let's send it back to our guys at Bobby Bowden Field. The Cardinals will kick it off to start the second half. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. They got plenty done through the air in the first half, and we'll see if they even need to look for balance as we start the third quarter. Well, and I, I think defensively, you understand, like, the running game isn't a big part of the plan. I wonder how they adjust and play more coverage to this pass-happy offense. Yeah, so you're going to have to be ready if you're a quarterback, then. You're probably going to see some different coverages. You might see a little bit more blitz in the second half as well, so you have to know where your answers are. Went to the running game on first down, now second down. Caught over the middle. It's Morlock. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets it up for the first down. Love the way he didn't just run to a spot. He found the cushion in the zone and got himself open for the first down. Yeah, and you're taught to find that space. Now, don't run right into a zone defender who's sitting there looking at the quarterback and looking at you. So much creativity with routes now and being able to just have subtle moves one way, come back the other way. Nice job by the tight end finding that hole in the zone. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Solid fundamentals on that tackle from this freshman. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. To throw, it's Uyangalale. Shoots it to the left. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe, and how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. Third down, a lot of times it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And, and when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. They'll go back to the ground. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. I think one of the hardest things to do is stick to the run when it's not working. But it's those runs right there that are the reason why you have to do it, right? You can't get too one-dimensional. Keep slipping those runs in there. Keep getting a little bit of positive yards. Next thing you know, you'll look up and you might break one of those after you got them a little bit tired. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. That's what I'm talking about. That is how you close. And when a guy's going to make a catch, you make sure he doesn't make it. Physicality, using your pads, running through them. And guess what? Not only this play does he feel it, next time he tries to go over the middle or feels footsteps, this will pay dividends. Snap from the gun on third down. Grabbed over the middle. It's Benson. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. We asked earlier this week, who's your favorite receiver? And of course, he said the open one. But we know who he really wants to go to on third down. The best one. <laughs> I mean, I think the open one, obviously, the politically correct answer. But you want to find the guy that you got that great chemistry with. You know exactly where he's going to be. You got that bond and that trust.
They'll line up for a second down play. Dropping back, it's Uyunglele. Looking left. Got his man downfield. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. Yeah, and you've seen these curl routes. This is a timing route. Understanding the ball's got to come out of my hand right when he hits the top of that curl. Nice job by the QB finding him. Nice catch. And the Seminoles will line it up on first and ten. the deflection missed a great chance to force the turnover instead it'll be second down say what that was a lightning fast decision you could tell he knew what he wanted to do right away makes the decision but maybe his footwork wasn't a little bit good and the pass wasn't where he wanted to put that thing i know that going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down they'll leave it with him able to pick up a couple before he's knocked down they mark it at the 10. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can pick up the first without scoring. From the gun, wants to pass. And they fail to hook up on third down. I tell you what, I don't know if the offense was expecting man coverage that time. Third and long in field goal range, you're expecting it to be zone. Instead, they lock them up man-to-man, -man, everybody on an island, and everybody won. They get the incompletion now setting up fourth. They're happy enough to try to take the points as the field goal unit heads out. It's good. Easy call for the ref. And that will extend their lead even further. Keep pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. On the move from inside is five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. The run from the shotgun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Linebackers have such an amazing responsibility. Got to play run, got to play pass. How about this? Seeing the run aggressively, getting downhill, and getting in the backfield and making a tackle for a loss. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. To the air, it's shot. Using the quick game. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Knowing that your man can make the catch against his defender, that wasn't a big play, but it can set you up down the line to be able to take advantage. Yes, get it to him as fast as I can. When I see him open, he runs the little hitch, get it to him so he can make a little bit of yards after the catch, and eventually that little gain, he's going to bust one of those with his athletic ability. That's caught. It's Bell. He'll have enough to move the chains. It's first down at the 38. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. On the ground with the counter. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He'll pull it on the read. And the ball is out. Who's going to get it? Well, the offense looks as if they fell on the fumble, and they'll keep the ball. Woo. Deep breath, right? Man, you, you fumble that thing, you cough it up, you're like, oh, I really appreciate you, brother. I can't tell you how much I thank you because the coaches would have been all over me, but big-time break for the offense. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. He's got it. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which way that's going to go.
amazing how many times an offensive holding penalty will stall a drive. We'll see if the offense can overcome it. On third and long, you'll need to push it downfield. And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. The third down offense has not been good, and add this one to the tap. Another third down stop. They give up the sack. They're down by three-plus possessions. Nothing going this offense's way. And the Cardinals decide to punt it away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. He gets a block. And the punt team able to smack him to the ground. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. Grab behind the line. It's Douglas. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. Well, we see another catch by this guy. This defense is going to need to do a better job of tackling the catch. In coverage, I know they want to slap the ball away, but if you can't do it and force the incompletion, you've got to at least make sure you're able to drag him down to the ground as soon as he catches the ball. Looking for a man. It's Uyanga Lale. Unloads to the wideout. Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. Well, nice job hauling that pass in. I'll tell you, he keeps defenses on their heels. He really does. His speed is so scary. And I think back to my days in college, we used to play against the Seminoles when they had Peter Warwick and Lavernius Coles. And because of their game-breaking ability, it put so much pressure on our defense. I'll tell you, this guy's good enough to, I think, have played on that Seminole offense. And he would have gotten some looks. Touchdown, Florida State! And the route is on. And it's now the second time this wide receiver has scored another outstanding job with the route. Great job securing the catch. Ready to try the point after. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish it up with the final 30 yards coming courtesy of that touchdown pass. They're lining up to boot it away. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. David, the putter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, and it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. That's the end of the quarter, and Florida State has the lead. And they've built a comfortable lead after three quarters of play. Let's take a look at how we've gotten here. Just about ready to go in the fourth, and we'll see if any drama can be mustered. It's first and 10 from the 31. He's going to pass quickly out to the tight end. I'll tell you, I love the play call on first down here. You're just trying to find an easy completion. And the shortest throw on the field for the quarterback is finding your biggest target, and that's the tight end. Nice job. This offense has a second down play. Back to throw. It's shot. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. You know, it's a nice throw by the QB there. When you're throwing to running backs, you got to make it easy on them. So you want to put it right on their body, make the catch simple, and let them go to work like they did just there getting that first. The Cardinals come to the line with a new set of downs. Going up top on first down. 
Got his man. They'll finally drag him down, but not before he gets it to the 40, and it's a first down. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game, but trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. And that's just the kind of game it's been for this quarterback in this offense. You've got a great game plan all week long. You're watching it throughout practice. You think you're going to have a chance to light up the scoreboard, but they're just not able to hook up. You've got to give this defense a ton of credit. They've done a great job in coverage. They've been breaking on passes. They've had their number, and that's why they're leading by as much as they are. He's got him this time. Nice gain of six, leaving them with third and four. Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. Off play action. The short hands. It's Lacey. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. Really nice job there by the quarterback, understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. You're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. They'll snap it from the 30 on first down. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Got a man. It's Johnson. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. Well, it's a nice job, too, of the quarterback after the play fake there, getting his eyes down the field. He had to get that to his tight end quickly, knowing he wasn't going to have a lot of space to run with after the catch. Down to the 16-yard line. It's first and 10. From the red zone, looking for a man. And he's got it! Touchdown, Louisville! Yeah, nice pitch, nice catch, and listen, maybe this helps next game, right? Like, we're trying to find a rhythm, find something that works, find somebody to go to, and this offense is struggling, and you're down by a 1,000, but I like that they continue to fight. Lining up for the PAT. Splits those uprights right in half. So a drive there of 84 yards. And they close the deal with a 16-yard throw for the touchdown. They're down big, but they'll keep fighting to the bitter end and line up for the onside kick here. few anxious moments there, but the hands team true to its name as they make the grab and get the ball. Well, offensively, they knew they were going to have some matchups they could take advantage of in this one, and all of a sudden, this quarterback has now over 300 yards passing in the game. Defensively, David, he has got them on their heels. And he's been showing you a little bit of everything. He can throw it all over the field to all different receivers, to his tight ends, to his running backs. Really has the ability to spread it around, and now over 300 yards. Still some time left, and he can put up even bigger numbers. And heck, go chase some awards, man. Get some postseason awards. Get an All-American. Just put up a day. Missed his receiver there. It's incomplete. I'm a little bit surprised they're still throwing the football here this late in the game with this kind of lead. They're on first down, taking a shot, falls incomplete. But obviously, they're still seeing matchups that they want to take advantage of in the back end of this defense, so they're letting it fly. Second and ten here. They'll give it to the back. Hard running there. That's why they love to feed this senior running back. He'll find those extra yards. And this is exactly what you want to do when you're on offense. You have the lead. You want to chew the clock, keep the ball on the ground, keep that thing just ticking, Palmer. They're just imposing their will, Dave, and that's something that we've seen, I think, all game. Up front, they've been the more physical team. They're the ones that's getting pushed and that's getting movement, and it's carrying over all the way here deep into the fourth quarter. That DB had a different story. He had something to say. Coming up, making a physical tackle. Now 
after losing a couple on that last play here, second and 12. Wide receiver shows motion. Got it behind the line. It's Douglas. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. Now facing a third and long. Quick pass to the left, trying to get it to the marker. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. I'll tell you, for this defense, they're going to have to find a way to bracket the slot receiver because of how athletic he is. They're going to need to make sure they've got linebackers and DBs surrounding this guy at all times. So this field goal unit has been getting the job done. They've already made a couple here today. Right down the boulevard. It's good. And now the lead's extended a little far. Starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. Let's see if he can make a play on the return. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. They'll throw it on first down. Fires to the middle. Wide open downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Here's the deal. You're down three possessions. You know, it doesn't feel likely they're going to come back and win, but we've seen crazier stuff happen in college football. It all starts with a big completion on a two-minute drive. They'll get the momentum started in your direction. Looking downfield, it's shot. Fires to the middle. Got him downfield. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. Well, this offense knew coming into this game they wanted to try to attack the middle of the field in the passing game, and they're able to execute the in route there. Two minutes now left in this one, and time is running short if they want to find a way to pull this one out. They'll put it in play from the 41 on first down. He's looking to throw it. Got it in the middle. It's Bell. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. Good job by the receiver there not to run into coverage, but to find a spot that the quarterback could throw him the ball. Yeah, on those types of routes, Reese, they say if you're looking, you're booking. So if that's man coverage, the receiver's staring at the quarterback all the way across the field. That time, the receiver didn't give the quarterback his eyes, so they were on the same page. They both knew it was zone, and they executed that perfectly. Fires to the wideout. And the ball is intercepted. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Nice job by this defense. That might be the exclamation point. Fourth quarter, I got a lead. You bring on the nickel defense. You know they're passing the football for plays just like that to make the INT and almost put this one away. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. And now one of the most satisfying moments in football, just watching that clock drain away while you have control of the ball, Jesse. And this is definitely one of the best play callers, right, for an offensive coordinator. You're getting ready to go into victory formation. So many good things happened today. It seemed like everything he was dialing today, David, ended up working out. No doubt. They put a lot of highlights together, put a great offensive game together, complete football game. They get the win. On to next week. They move the chains on the ground. Now another first down. Fast motion from the offense. They'll run it. They want to take their time here. 
And the defense is still fighting. They, they haven't had the day that they dreamed of. You know, talking to the coaches coming to the game, like they thought they had a good plan. They'd be ready to attack and, and, and limit some of the damage this offense has done. They haven't done it today, though. They got to go back to the drawing board, figure some things out, because this wasn't a great day. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. The give to the back. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. 